Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to part two. Uh, not part two, but series two of That's our Cryptikins two. Cryptozoic Minis. This is series two. So we got new monsters. New monsters to discover, guys. So I got the little crates. Yep. These boxes are a little bigger, I feel. Yeah. So that's not focused too well on that. Let me block my face out. That's the light. Okay, well, there's the monsters. These ones don't have tape on the boxes. Okay. I'm going to rip into it because I like to start these things off. That's how I roll. And I got... Whatever this creepy thing is that we weren't sure. Oh my gosh, yes! What is this thing called? This is a Wendango. Oh! Wendango <laughs> yes, it's baby. a Wendango. I'm it's sorry, a, love. The Wendango ate your baby. The full grown size is unknown, but stories suggest anywhere from 7 to 15 feet tall. Uh, legends may describe him as an evil spirit, but this guy doesn't seem to have a mean bone in his body or protruding from his head. He loves oh. to help out around the house and unwind from a stressful day by spending time in nature. He's a carnivore who, contrary to folklore, seems too nice ever to harm a human. And his habitat is forests of Great Lakes and Atlantic Coast. Ha -ha! Up in the forests of the Great Lakes. People in... These are so cute. Yeah, I know, right? There's your Wendango. What? No, our? There's our Wendango. Because the Wendango ate your baby. Dead. That's cool. Yeah, I think the there's like a color difference on some of these guys. I think this is a gargoyle. Oh yeah, that's got to be a gargoyle. Right? So this has got to be a gargoyle, right? You love gargoyles. The little mini wings. Let's see. Gargoyle. Do you want me to read or do you want to read? I'll read it. Okay. All right. Ah! All right, the gargoyle, unknown, but accounts suggest anywhere from four to eight feet tall. This fellow moves a bit slowly, as if it were made of stone, especially during the day. Nevertheless, he's ultra protective and will jump into action to defend you and your home. He can fly a few inches off the ground, but can't quite soar yet. Seems not to require food. A habitat and range, France predominantly, but spotted in many big cities. So the French gargoyles are coming for you. There you go. I got a skull dragon guy. Oh, this is the chase. This is the chase. Yeah, it this is. This is the like, secret. That's a one in 72. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because there's two other versions, one that's blue and one that's green. Yeah. That shows on the back, but not the skull. That's why I like the blue one. I was like, eh about it but that one definitely it is the blue dragon but that is definitely not a blue dragon guys it says full grown size unknown but legends suggest anywhere from 10 to 200 feet long with a wingspan to match description she likes the cold so don't be surprised if the temperature in your home suddenly plummets or you find her hanging it out in the fridge though she is quiet when meeting new people her personality is far from icy she has a big heart and loves to make friends Carnivore who salivates when she sees fish. She's, habitat is Arctic Ocean close to the North Pole. Not it. Not it? Mm -mm. Dang you. What? No, I can open service. I know. I Actually, don't I, don't, I have one. no idea. The three-headed dog. Mm -hmm. Hades three-headed dog. Oh, there's a freaking Pegasus. So we just read this, guys. So That's we're not going to read it again. But there the is the blue Pegasus. dragon. So that's kind of cool. We got the chase and the non-chase at that one. There you go. That is kind of cool. All right. What you got, sugar tits? I don't know. Don't, don't tell me. Ooh. Ooh. What is this guy? What do you think is he it is? Is it a jackal? No. Kind of like a jackal, though. As a werewolf? Yes, it is. I got a werewolf? It is a werewolf. Unknown, but some accounts imply seven to nine feet tall. This furry fellow may cause panic in your neighborhood and a lots of darking and lots of barking dogs. <clears throat> Especially That's when he howls during barking. a full moon. 
but there's nothing to be afraid of except his endless appetite and ability to sniff out snacks anywhere and anytime. Carnivore who eats almost any kind of meat so and Scooby -Doo. Europe. There's a chase version of this guy too. Mm -hmm. Like a color variant. They don't stand out. Ooh, that was the desk on the elbow. elbow. That didn't hurt that bad to be honest. I just said ow because I was shocked. I was more shocked than anything. All right. Oh, we're going to save this one. Okay. That's yours. Next. This? Yeah. Okay. Just, just wait. So I can just write this down? Yeah. Okay. You know. I know. Is it a three-headed dog? It may be. What'd you get, though? I got another werewolf. Oh, another werewolf. And not a color variant. Same no, one. Same one. Can't see. Another werewolf. Wee. All right, so these will be for, these were, wait, hmm. by the time this one goes up. Maybe. I think I'll go up the week of the auction. The week of the auction? Mm -hmm. I think so. I agree. Oh, no, I just knocked that down. I think it was empty. I hope so. Yes! There it is. Yes! It's fluffy! Look, like, <laughs> it's yes. Lola. Just, just show it off. Look at this. The one dog's got his little tongue sticking out. Like, little tiny little blip. That's tongue, Lola. And then the other one's just like full on tongue and the other <sighs> one's gonna eat your face off. And then like its tail is like a tentacle. The heck? Ugh. That thing is huge. Guys, who agrees huge. with me that this needs to be a pop? That is Like for Cerberus. myth's lines, yeah, it does. Cerberus, there needs to be a Cerberus pop. Full grown size, unknown, but myth pegs him at up to 30 feet tall. Each of his heads has a distinct personality, so it's like having three dogs in one. Given his purported role as defender of the underworld, it's unsurprising that he tries like hell to keep intruders away from your house and may even attempt to keep you from going out. That sounds like Ollie. Uh, he's a carnivore, so any sort of meat will do. Habitat and range, somewhere underneath Greece. So feed him to your enemies, or feed your enemies to him. There Got you it. go. There you go, babe. That's how you get Unless rid of Unless you open bodies. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Aw, he's so sweet. Sometimes. Sometimes. All the time. What'd you get? I don't know, but he's a cactus beast. She. That is definitely a she. That has to be a she. But it's really prickly, and it kind of hurt. It's literally got a cactus tail. It's a cactus cat. That's cactus cat. What it's called. So this must live in Arizona. Yeah, you want to Or New Mexico. The... All right, I could do that. It's yours, so I'll let you <clears throat> The cactus cat. Unknown, but sightings indicate two to four feet long. Her so personality may seem as thorny as her appearance at first, but once she gets to know you, she'll purr and want to spend lots of time with you. Get her some cactus juice for a special treat. One warning, you might want to be careful about cuddling with her. <laughs> Cact uh, diet includes cacti, specifically the juice inside, and habitat and range, the American Southwest. Yep. That's cool. I've never heard of that one. Hey! We got the full line of dragons going on. Is the green dragon its own? It's a green dragon. It is. Yep, there's a green, a blue, and the chase dragon. Hey, look, we it's found the It's literally dragon. sitting right there. So green dragon, you want to show it off while I read it? Yes, I can do that. Full grown size, a mystery, but folklore suggests anywhere from 20 to 60 feet long. Green doesn't just describe her color. She loves the environment. She will discourage you, sternly if necessary, from being wasteful around the house and is a big fan of recycling. She also enjoys spending time in forests, communing with the trees, and sometimes disappearing among them. Carnivore, who enjoys birds and elk. Habitat and range, Bielowiezia Forest in Poland and Belarus. Wow. It's a Belarusian ridgeback. I don't know. I don't That's know. Pretty cool, we should ask Hagrid. Hagrid would know. Hagrid would know. These actually aren't that hard to open. So there's 13, right? Yep. Oh, yeah! Because we're going to release the Kraken. Dude, that is the Kraken. Kraken. Here you go. There's your card for the Kraken. Unknown, but predominant, but probably big. Is that what it says? Yes. Let's just describe him as more than 100 feet long. He's a bit timid and would rather stay at home with you rather than attack anyone on the high seas. With his numerous tentacles, he's pretty helpful getting stuff done around the house. He may get pretty huge, so you may uh, 
So make sure you have a large bathtub or an ocean nearby. Uh, diet, he's an omnivore who has strange appetite for wood, especially if it comes from a ship. He lives off the coasts of Norway and Greenland. Of course. <gasps> yes. Oh god, the Pegasi. Oh, look at that. It's a Pegasus. So there is a werewolf, and then there's something else. I don't know. You have one more. Uh -huh. Pegasus! Hang on, I gotta read this. Unknown, but myth suggests up to seven feet tall. Her personality is as bright and noisy as the lightning and thunder that, according to legend, she brings down from the clouds by order of Zeus. She is filled with positivity and loves to talk about anything and everything as she flies around, flies around at rapid speed. A herbivore who loves apples, habitat and range, Mount Olympus. She's adorable. So if I had to guess, we're probably going to open the griffin here. Just because it's the that last would be one. That's pretty sweet. It's the last one. Last common. That is a Chase Pegasus, is what that is. Oh. That really rare one. And sure shit. I'm sure it's like a glitter or something. There it is. We got a griffin! So we actually did better on this one than we did last week. We did, we did. We only got one, one duplicate because we got the. The Chase. <laughs> Alright, there's the griffin. I dropped it. I'm, I'm opening it for you. Alright. Well, thinking. griffins don't live in America, which makes me sad. But unknown, but legend suggests a length of at least nine feet and a wingspan of up to 30. When you're part lion and part eagle and described as the king of all creatures, you're definitely going to have a lot of self-confidence. He is bold and will courageously try to defend you and any of your belongings, particularly any treasure you may value. Griffin, defend the pups. Yep, right? We got a defender now. Yep. Carnivore, who eats... Deer, fish, and various birds. Habitats range from Egypt to Iran. Those are so cute. I gotta find a good, like, a, a, a spot, I guess. I don't know. They can live up on the soda shelf for a while. Over here on this shelf? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm worried they idea. fall down, though. Mm -mm, I got an idea. That was so cute, guys! So we'll probably just go buy the ones we're missing, except for I bet the chases are, like, dumb expensive. Just like I bet the unicorn you... knows. You know this one? Like the chase should mm -hmm. be like glitter or something. Probably. Or it has wings. I don't Bigger know. Wings. We'll we'll look it up and see. Yeah. So that's that, that guys. Cool. Uh, I, I don't think they're coming out with the Series 3 because that was the last one was 2019 was Series mm -hmm. 2. Yeah. So they probably just did. I don't know that there's enough mythological beasts for them too. I mean, there's oh, probably there is. more. There definitely I is. I mean, you got a centaur, you got a cyclops, you got a minotaur, you've got... Yeah, but now you're talking about more, like, mixed with people. And the werewolf kind of gets that, but most of these are just, like, animals. Mm, I don't know. They're cute. That they are. So. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Well, actually, we'll see you tomorrow for Trading Card Tuesdays, and we'll talk to you later. Toodles. Bye!